Right, as what I promised, I will make a video for these probability distribution questions because on the last sun sun Sundays, the live classroom actually I start in this question. So yeah, I, I spend like few hours to actually go through about this question because I want to make sure myself is fully understand about this question before I teach you. Right, so have a look on this question seven. This is probability distribution. It's for SBM MF. I think it's from five topics, something like chapter six. All right, so in the games, in the games, the probability of winning is zero point two five. A series of n games were played, and it was found that the probability of winning once in the games is equal to probability of losing eight in all games. All right, so okay, first is uh, we have to assume this game uh do not have draw. That means we have to assume this this game is either is either win or lose. Alright. There's there's no draw on between. Alright, because if these games have draw on between then yeah, then this method couldn't work. Alright. So over here the question says the probability of winning is zero point two five. So I will write just write P equals to zero point two five. And then Q is basically 1 minus P. So Q is basically 0 0.75. Okay, this one is a probability of winning one game. And then Q is a probability of losing that game. Alright, so a series of N games were placed. It was found a probability of winning once. So that means that mean what the question tries to say is now they place N game. The number of N is just N. Right, so so x equals to r, isn't it? The formula basically is x equals to r, and then this is m c r p power of r, and then q n minus r. This is just a formula, right? So in this case, the question says only wins once. So if I let the p is is the chance I will, I will win the game, that means I will say something like uh, my x is equals to one. Okay. And then he said it's equal to is equal to the probability of losing eight times in all the game. I I guess it's because of these words. I mean probability of losing eight times in all the game just confused me. I think if next time if I do this question by myself, what I will do is I will move the eight time to the front here. Okay, what do I mean here is Okay, the probability of winning one is a game is equals to eight times the probability of losing the game. Then it will be very easy to understand. Because that one is just mean is equals to eight times of probability of losing all the game. So probability of losing all the game means what? The probability of losing all the game means it win none, right? When it wins is zero, so what I will do over here I will write probability the win is zero in eight games. So in this case, uh, this one in, in all the eight games, I mean, not eight games, what am I saying? I mean, lose all the game. Lose all game. Right, so the win, I mean, the win over here is zero. So therefore, you see the zero here, and then the wins over here is basically one. Why well, I have a degree sign here. Right, so, then I just solve this equation. All right, so basically this is a question trying to say is the probability of winning one means the R is just one. Okay, it's equals to the eight time of the probability of losing all the game. Losing all the game means win is zero. So you will see I write zero and one here. And then what I will do next is I will just substitute the thing I have. This is NC1 and then my P is 0 0.25 and power of 1, and then my uh, Q is 0 0.75, and power of M minus 1. Alright, it's, it's equals to 8 multiply NC0, because I win 0, and then this one is 0 0.25, uh, power of 0, and then this is 0 0.75, power of N minus 0 is N. Alright, so then I will just solve this equation. So this is how I will solve this equation. So what I will do on the following is, the NC1, I will just expand using the NC out formula, is N factorial over N minus R factorial, and then R factorial. All right, this is just a formula. So I will just expand it here. So I will say N factorial over, this is factorial, 
n minus 1 factorial and then 1 factorial right and then this is 0 0.25 power of 1 is just 0 0.25 and then for 0 0.75 n minus 1 we know minus 1 mean divide power of 1 isn't it so I will just do like this I will just do like this this one is 0 0.75 power of n over 0 0.75 power of 1 right this is how I solve here and then on the other side I will just do the same this is 8 right n c 0 whatever thing c 0 here is just equals to 1 okay everything power of 0 is just equals to 1 so 1 multiply 1 multiply the whole thing so you will just get 0 0.75 power of n because the rest is just 1 alright so then I will need to solve this equation over here it's quite easy to solve already just one thing here you will need to pay attention which is how to solve this one alright so in order to solve this one you must know how to expand n factorial okay so if we say 5 factorial basically it means 5 multiply 4 multiply 3 multiply 2 multiply 1 so if I say n factorial so that means the first letter must be n because 5, fa 5 factorial the first letter is 5 so the next one is basically the 5 minus 1 isn't it so the next one is n minus 1 so if 3 here 3 here actually is 5 minus 2 isn't it so it will be n minus 2 and then this one is continue will be n minus 3 until infinity so how do we stop the n factorial it depends on the denominator so if in this case my denominator is n minus 3 factorial I will stop here when I add a factorial there then I will stop there if I want to stop at n minus 2 then I, I will just add a factorial at the back of n minus 2 it's very depend what I want to simplify there in this case because my denominator here I actually have n minus 1 factorial so I will just stop at n minus 1 that's all I won't go until n minus 2 so I will say n factorial equals to n minus 1 n multiply n minus 1 factorial because if I add a factorial here means if I want to expand it I can still do it but then I won't so what happens over here is okay this is what I will do this is n multiply n minus 1 factorial which is how I expand the n factorial divided by n minus 1 factorial 1 factorial is just 1 alright so I will just ignore it and then over here 0 0.25 divided by 0 0.75 so you, you can just use the calculator to do I guess you will get 1 over 3 so this one is 1 over 3 after I simplify and then this one will be uh, 0 0.75 power of n alright equals to 8 multiply 0 0.75 power of n alright because over here their relationship is all multiplied so sh should be quite easy to solve then n minus uh, I mean 0 0.75 power of n and 0 0.75 power of n I will just simplify and then the 3 over here I will just move to the other side and then it will become uh, multiply 3 so basically you will get you, what you will get you will get 20, 24 3 multiply 8 is 24 and over here I will just simplify n minus 1 and factorial and n minus 1 factorial I left an n here so therefore n is equals to 24 right this is how we solve this kind of question and then the next thing is okay I just make this one until so messy okay so I will write down my answer n equals to 24 and then I will just erase everything here do I have any faster way to erase thing <laughs> okay I don't think so okay so find the probability find okay the second part is the final probability that we need exactly two games so the question one used to solve something like uh, x equals to 2 because it's winning exactly two games so since I have so limited space so I will just do at the downstairs because I want to save some space so therefore this is something like x equals to 2 exactly two games so just now uh, our n is 24 so I will say 24 c2 winning is 0 0.25 power of 2 and then the losing will be 0 0.75 power of 22 minus 2 which is uh, 24 minus 2 which is 22 then you can easily get the answer for this one so it's 24 c2 multiply 0 0.25 power of 2 and then multiply 0 0.75 power of 22 yeah the number will be quite small you will get 0 0.03077 right I guess this one should be the correct answer for the first part and second part yeah basically I would think the first one actually is quite hard
because not to say quite hard because the way you write the the question actually just like maybe I'm just not good enough in MF I'm not sure but then yeah because the question always is, says like losing eight time of all games then this one actually confused me like very much yeah one of the student actually recommends me to read the Malay version yeah the, because the student find out that Malay version actually is easier to understand anyways I hope you you do understand about what I'm trying to say about this video if you don't just let me know which part actually make you even more confused yeah I hope this video really can help you yeah that's all for this video thanks for watching